All right, this is grade three, module five, lesson 28, and we're going to be comparing fractions with the same numerator and uh, identifying which one's greater, which one's smaller. Uh, but at this point, we're going to be doing it pictorially so that we can help students develop a, um, logic about fractions and an understanding of fractions. We're not going to teach them an algorithm at this point. Right now, we're just going to do everything through drawing pictures. So here it says shade the models to compare the fractions and then circle the larger fraction. So first we've got four fifths and then we've got four ninths. So four fifths is one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, and here's four fifths. And then four ninths is all the way, that's three, four ninths. There we go, four ninths. So in both cases, we did four. We shaded in four. Up here, we shaded in four-fifths. Here, we shaded in four-ninths. And we can clearly see that four-fifths is larger than four-ninths. Down here, we've got four-sixths and four-fourths. OK, well, shading in four-sixths. One, two, three, four. And then down here, we've got four-fourths. So that's one, two, three, four. And so in both cases, we shaded in four pieces. But up here, we shaded in four-sixths, while down here, we shaded in four-fourths. And we can clearly see that four-fourths is larger. So parents and teachers, at this point, we are not teaching some sort of rule. We're just trying to get students to think about the meaning of fractions and using logic to compare these fractions. And really, at this point, we're just drawing pictures and looking uh, using the pictures to tell us which fraction is bigger. So we're going to continue practicing with some word problems here. Salim and Edwin use inch rulers to measure the lengths of their caterpillars. Salim's is 3 fourths. while Edwin's is 3 eighths, whose caterpillar is longer. So we're going to draw identical one holes. So each of these are supposed to be identical holes. And then uh, Salim is 3 fourths, so we're going to cut that into four pieces and shade in three. One, two, Three. So this is the length of Salim's uh, caterpillar. And then Edwin is 3 eighths. So we're going to cut his ruler into eight equal sized pieces. So that's four. And then cut each of those in half and shade in three of those. So to get to be specific, that's 0 to 1, and this is 0 to 1 for 1 inch. Salim, his caterpillar, let's see, uh, how do you draw a caterpillar? Kind of looks like all fluffy. There's his eyeballs and his smiley face. All right, and then Edwin's is right here. His caterpillar is right here, smiley face. <laughs> that is the worst looking caterpillar ever. But we could clearly see that Salim's caterpillar is longer than uh, Edwin's. And the last problem for this video L Lily and Jasmine each bake the same sized chocolate cake. So Lily puts five tenths of a cup of sugar into her cake while Jasmine puts five-sixths of a cup into her cake, who uses less sugar? Well, it doesn't really matter that it's the same size chocolate cake because the question is asking who uses less sugar, and we're talking about a cup of a sugar. So let's talk about Lily and Jasmine, and here is one cup of sugar, and let's draw that the same way on both Lily and Jasmine. Now, Lily did five-tenths of a cup. So that means we have to cut this tape diagram into ten 
pieces and shade in five of those tenths. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four, and four tenths, and five tenths. So there is Lily and her five tenths of a cup. Now Jasmine did five sixths of a cup, so that means we have to cut her tape diagram into six pieces, so that's pretty easy. You begin by cutting it in half, and then you cut each half into three pieces. And then Jasmine used five sixths. So there's one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths. So there's Jasmine and her five sixths. And the question is who used less sugar? Well, we can see that Lily clearly used less sugar than Jasmine. So Lily used less sugar. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 28, where we were using pictures to compare fractions with the same numerator.